Okay guys, so in this video, I wanna talk about an issue that happens when you create multiple WS models. Now, Dietrich contacted me recently about this issue and the only reason I was really able to help him was because I had the same issue in the past. But at the time I had some ideas about how to fix it, but I was really lazy and didn't wanna try. <laughs> so I didn't. But I'm really glad that he contacted me because it gave me a reason to, to revisit it. Now, if you haven't checked out Dietrich's YouTube channel, you should go over and take a look at it. The link is going to be in the description of this video. Um, he makes some really great modding tutorial videos that have just a much higher production value than mine. They look great, and I'm a little jealous of them. Anyway, so let me first show you the issue and then describe how to solve the issue. So when we have some rigid models, so here we have the blonde and the brunette and there's a redheaded one here that he's created. The rigid models look fine, but when we auto generate level of detail, so I'm gonna generate some WS models. So what I do is auto generate level of detail, save the rigid model, and then I create a WS model. Okay, now if you notice, we created a folder called materials, and these materials are defined in the WS model. So if we right click and save and drag this blonde WS model in, we'll see that it was created correctly. Okay, so let's now do the same thing for the brunette. Auto generate level of detail, save, generate WS model. All right. Now, if you notice, we just overwrote those. Okay, so if we right click save and we drag in this WS model, we'll have some brunette here. But, and that seems okay, however, if we are instead going to drag in this one, okay, if you notice, we have some issues. So essentially, the WS Model 2 is a brunette now, when it should have been blonde. So this is the issue that when we create a new WS Model, it often overwrites the old one. And the reason is because it's overriding materials. Now, let's go back to this head to and recreate the WS model. Okay, so we're going to hit uh, save this rigid and I'm going to generate my WS model again. Okay, now if you notice, the only two that are being overwritten are these two. Okay, so th those are the ones we're going to have to mess with. So I'm going to right click and save this and I'm going to rename those two. So rename this head 01 to head 02 to match the rigid model. I'm going to right click, rename this 01 to 02. Okay, so I'm gonna right click and save. Now, we have dealt with that, but we need to double click on them and change their names inside the file itself. So here in name, this is gonna be 02, and I'm gonna hit save here. And same thing here, I'm gonna change this to O2 and hit save. All right, right click, save. Now, we have our WS models material saved correctly. Now we have to actually open the WS model itself. So I'm gonna double click on it. And we have our level of details described. So here's zero, one, two, three. Okay. So if you notice, it names different um, materials in this thing. So the only one we have to worry about is the top row because the 01 underscore one, these are the two that aren't changed and the Lord body five is the bottom row and it's not changed. It's just the top row. So we need to change that to 02, 02, 02, and 02. Okay, so now we're gonna hit save and now our WS model is calling to the correct materials. Right click, save. All right, let's just make sure that it's working correctly. If we open our rigid model three and drag our WS model in, it's blonde. Okay, so our, our model is blonde again. So let's now fix our brunette. 
let's open that one. It's a rigid model. We're going to auto generate level of detail, save it. Tools generate WS model. Okay. Now, if you notice, again, we have now created two new ones named 01 again. So I'm going to right click, save everything, and I'm going to change these two 01s to 03. So rename 03, rename 03 to match the rigid model. Right click and save. I'm going to double click on them and rename them to 03. Save here. 03, save. OK, right click, save. Now I'm going to go to its WS model, double click on it, do the same thing in each of these level of details. So here, three, 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 hit save. All right, now we're going to right click and save. So let's double check that this is working. First of all, we created a new WS model. So in the past, it would overwrite our old one. Let's click and drag. It's still blonde, so that's working correctly. Now let's open the blonde rigid model and drag in the brunette to see if it's working. It is. OK, so now let's do that one more time for rigid model four. We have this redhead. And we're going to generate level of detail, save it. Tools, generate WS model. OK, so again, it's just these two that are being recreated. So we're going to right click and save. And I'm going to rename these um, 04. Now, realistically speaking, since this is now in a unique name, we actually don't have to re redo this, but I'm just doing it because it would then better match the naming conventions. Um, and in case uh, I was to make another one or something like that, it's just a good practice not to kind of overwrite the originals. OK, so right click Save. I'm going to open these two and rename them. OK, let's try that again. There we go. 04. 04. Save. And save. OK, right click and save this all. All right, so the material has been renamed appropriately. And we're going to open the WS model and do the same thing. I'm going to change this from 01 to 04, 01 to 04 and so on and so forth. Hit save. All right, so now let's make sure that this is working. So we have rigid model two. Okay. Let's drag the new WS model, it's redheaded. That checks out. Let's drag the brunette in, it's working. So that checks out. Now let's just double check the blonde is working by dragging it in to one of the others. And we can see that the blonde is working. OK, so we have now generated uh, WS models for all of our models. And we've just had to basically create new materials um, to allow for that. So that's, again, an issue that doesn't happen all the time if you're working with like a singular entity. But when you start working with multiple entities, this can be a major issue that isn't super obvious on how to fix. Um, and it all comes down to asset editor, just when it generates materials, it just generates O1s. It doesn't generate like necessarily unique things. And um, so you have to go in and personally change those names, but it's not good enough just to rename here. You have to rename in the file and then make sure that the WS models are calling to the correct materials. So anyway, hopefully that helps you better understand the WS model issue. And uh, thanks for watching.